Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Isaiah 58, 12, NIV. Welcome to Outreach Connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and power of Jesus Christ. Welcome once again, my friends, to the Outreach Connection. I'm Dr. Pepper, shaking the salt. And along with Isaiah, right after what we just heard, it says, I create the fruit of the lips. I will lead him and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. Maybe you're watching today and you're thinking, oh, woe is me, life is horrible, and it may be circumstantially. But I've got some great friends with me today that are going to personally invite you to an event that will lift your spirit, feed your soul, feed your tummies, and just have some great fun. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And sometimes we have to just pray, God, I don't feel joy today, but I need your strength. And therefore, I stand on the promise of your joy. And I have that peace that passes all understanding, no matter what the world's throwing at me. I'm just a pilgrim passing through, just a wisp. But for the time that I am here, you are to live life, Jesus said, abundantly and do it in fellowship with believers. And so you want to get to the heart of the matter? Let's go straight to Heartland. And here with me is the Knickerbock family. Hi, Mr. <laughs> and Mr. Bach. I just thought of that because the Knickerbockers, that kind of right, gets your last yeah. name. Okay, Jared, give them your last name. It's Nickerson. Close. Actually. And then there's Daniel, Daniel Bach. Bach. Yes. Okay. Now, Heartland, if people have not heard of that, you see it on cartons, you see it on products sometimes. Yes. But what is Heartland and what are they invited to? Well, basically, Heartland, for someone who's never heard of it, would be uh, a city of refuge, uh, a place in the middle of a cornfield yeah. that invites people to come. And, and as they come, then God is able to do a work in their life. And it's really uh, about healing and restoration, uh, about uh, souls being saved yes. for the kingdom. And now there's a lot of things, like you mentioned, there's products that you see on the shelf for sale. We have cheese and things that are in stores, you know. Eggs. But all of that is to further the mission of the gospel so that we can tell another person how to understand and come to saving knowledge of Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, so. Kevin Costner said, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> so <laughs> you've built it in the cornfield. Yes. And they have come. And one that came was Jared and his family. Jared, let's hear a little bit of your background. We had heard Daniel's before. People probably, it's been a while. But we've had folks that have sat here that have been healed of drugs and alcohol. And mm -hmm. they now live in Heartland. They are on fire serving the Lord living and giving and maybe you're watching today and you're thinking I don't even know what you're talking about well listen we're gonna give you some phone numbers and some websites to go to you might want to be a part of this not only for the big fourth of July celebration but permanently so tell them what happened in your case Jared well in my case I grew up in church and uh, I had a corruption of the soul not necessarily of the body mm. I was addicted to myself and what I wanted Wow. instead of drugs or alcohol. Mm. And so I grew up in a loving family that went to church every Sunday, every Wednesday we were there, but I didn't know Jesus. Mm. And so when I got old enough, I left home and went to Bible college and really found a spirit-filled community mm. that I met the Holy Spirit. Mm. And when I met him, I saw Jesus. Now explain, because the Holy Spirit, we know Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Explain what you mean by that to those who maybe go on Sundays and Wednesdays. Well, it was, it was the motions. I was just going through the motions. Uh, I was showing up every day and not having my heart in it because I didn't know who I was doing it for. Wow. Wow. You don't hear people really just flat out say, I was addicted to me. <laughs> but in this culture, it's all about me, 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 I, I, yeah. I, I. Wow. Okay, so you, your wife, and your little nine-month-old went we, to Heartland. Yes, we move out to Heartland, and uh, we, we find Jesus. <laughs> and we find a people there that really love Jesus, mm -hmm. too. 
And this isn't a little isolated community where I was just telling you about an area in St. Louis, kind of like the Stepford family. If you're picturing um, the little group that's all shut off with the walls, no. You see everybody going, come on in. That's why right. we're celebrating this great event coming up. And I'm going to use my little cheat sheet here, and I'm even going to show you. It says, open house. And there is an open house if you want to see what Heartland's all about. Let's talk about that because we're putting okay. it up on the screen as we speak. Great. Well, the Heartland Open House this year is uh, July 4th, mm -hmm. and we uh, have lots of great events. If you've been to an open house before, some of the same things you'll get to see again, but there's also some new things this year. Yeah. And so the, the annual open house gives us a time to just invite the public to come and rejoice in the Lord with us um, and, and just come and have a great time together. That's good. Um, as uh, you see on the screen there, we have the antique car show again this year. Uh, if anyone in the area would like to come and be a part of that, they're welcome to, to join. You can get a, uh, a form to sign up on the website. And then also a new thing this year is the uh, tractor pull. Uh, this is a sanctioned show, and it's put on uh, by professional pullers that are going to come. And so it'll be a great time for you to come and watch uh, an awesome tractor pull. Another new thing that's going to be happening this year is the 5K race. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for this event, it's actually going to start at 9 o'clock in the morning when it's a little cooler. Wow, yeah. And, uh, and anyone who wants to come, there'll be cash prizes for mm -hmm. men and women as they complete the race uh, for first, second, and third. So there's lots of fun to be had, but also um, maybe some prize money or different awards that you might be able to take home as well. Do you have a senior citizens category? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure. We'll have Just to work kidding. on that. I was thinking, too, the one thing you left out, the free food, the delicious food. Oh, yeah. Pulled pork and tell Definitely. us about that in the competition. Well, um, it, there's uh, a couple of things. There is a, a, a big barbecue cook-off, mm -hmm. okay, uh, to be the, the master pitman. Uh, but uh, if you want to come and enter that competition, you can, the, and the sign-up forms are right there online. Uh, some of the cookers are going to show up uh, the night before and start cooking all these different mm. things, these chicken and pork and brisket and all these different wonderful things to eat as part of the competition. But then uh, in addition to that, then all throughout the day, there'll be uh, fun and uh, I mean food of different kinds, uh, you know, kettle corn and all the great mm. festival type of food mm. that you don't get every day. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but then at five o'clock, you were mentioning the free meal mm -hmm. from five to seven. Uh, all the food then will be uh, free. Uh, it's going to be an awesome barbecue and just all the fixings that go with it. And so awesome. come and enjoy the time of uh, fun and fellowship, but also the free food from 5 to 7. So say somebody's watching from uh, Quincy area and they're looking here and they see that this is at Heartland Open House, but they don't know where it is and maybe they don't even have access to a computer. How would they find out how to get there? Okay. Well, um, Heartland is actually located on Highway E between Bethel and Newark, Missouri. Okay. So if you get a map out and, and look it up, uh, you know, from Quincy here, it's not very far. Yeah. You're going to go straight through Ewing and hit Newark. Uh, so just right up the road. It's about a 45 mile trip. Uh, great day trip. You know, the, mm. the TV keeps talking about all these uh, local news stations. Sure. They're talking about take a day trip, That's take right. a day trip, take your family somewhere and do something yes. special. This will be a great one day trip for you to come as a family and, and have an awesome time together. The whole day. Yes, and there's whole something day. for every age. I mean, for the kids will have the huge inflatable blow up games mm. and, and all the other fun things going on. They'll the love petting the tractors zoo and, too. Oh, yeah. they will, oh, yeah. the tractors and all that. Uh, but then, you know, there's even things for adults to enjoy. There'll be all kinds of different, uh, some of the games are just for fun, like mm -hmm. horseshoes and things like that where you can just compete for fun. Yeah. But then, you know, there are some of the competitions that are giving away trophies and prize wow, money. that is so, so interesting. And the one thing I'm thinking in St. Louis, we have the VP Fair, but you have around mm -hmm. you people that are just schnockered. I mean, they mm -hmm. are just, and people throwing up and drinking. And this is a day about celebrating our country family. And what about the outcome? Alcohol. There is no alcohol permitted at all on the premises. Yay. Yes, <laughs> our our entire uh, campus uh, is is alcohol free, um, drug free, smoke free, uh, tobacco free. However you want to say those things, mm -hmm. uh, you know we're we're living for God and in, in a in a consecrated set apart mm. lifestyle that um, we are able to function without those 
crutches in our lives. That's good. Now you said that this is a campus, so when we think of that, well yeah, you do have a school, but it's really a town. It's a city practically. How many are there? Uh, it is nearly, uh, it's growing. Uh, there's, uh, I don't know, well over 600 or so. Well, I was going uh, to say, bigger than my of, little hometown yes. of Clarksville. I <laughs> yeah. know that. And, and uh, one thing we forgot, what's the last big final event of the evening? Well, there'll be an awesome uh, program going on yeah. where uh, there'll be musical entertainment and all kinds of that, but mm -hmm. also then we'll get to hear a message from Pastor Charles Sharp, who's our founder awesome. of the Heartland facility, and he'll get to share his heart just a little bit yes. of what uh, God's speaking to him about right now. And then there'll be a huge firework That's display. what we're waiting mm -hmm. for. Fourth of <laughs> July, we have to have the fireworks. Yes, yes. And Heartland does fireworks like you haven't seen fireworks. <laughs> It's It'll be, be a very a, large display. What a day. And the family can come and virtually spend absolutely nothing. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, a lot of these things, you you, you know, if you went to a, a fair or a carnival or the zoo or different mm -hmm. things, you pay to get in right. on a lot of those situations. Sure. Well, here, you know, you you have the gas money to drive over yeah. there. But then once you get there, you can literally, you know, enjoy the day for free. Amazing. And, uh, and have a great time while you're there. And in freedom of Christ. And bring yes. your unsaved loved ones. Oh, yes, definitely. Bring the whole neighborhood of kids that have never stepped foot in a church and wouldn't perhaps even want to. Right. But who doesn't want to go to a giant fair and eat barbecue and watch tractor <laughs> pull and fireworks and food fun fellowship and, and music and That's wow. Right. Okay, now, when they get there, if they would like to see everything, because we had the most awesome tour. It was just amazing when we came over. What would you see there? Well, you'd see our local campus where we have our school and our stores and where we live, but then we also take you over to the farm. Oh, that's and you get great. to see the cows on the carousel. We have almost 7,000 head of cows now. <laughs> 7,000 cows riding yes. a merry-go-round. You've not seen anything <laughs> like it. And then you get to see the goats as well. I love so that. It's really, it's really a good experience. I wanted to bring some of those babies home with me and they wouldn't let me. Your kids will absolutely love this. For you city slickers that are watching this or those of you that have never been in any place where your kids could just pet and feed the little goats and lambs. It's just amazing. And what a great lesson in biology for homeschoolers. This yes. would be a oh, yes. whole day where you get credit for the 4th of July. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then what else can you see there? You can see our tour. creamery facility as well where we actually process all of that raw well, most of that raw product that you see being milked out of the cow. Right. So. And we understand, and now it's explained to us. And again, yes. it's a lesson. It's a life lesson you won't forget, but it's so fun, so memorable, so enjoyable. So again, now this is the 4th of July, so if they're going to make plans, they better start now because the people pour in. There's probably no motel space, is there? Probably in, not in on campus, city, yeah. no. All the hotels there are probably uh, are booked up, all the rooms. But, uh, but it's close to everything. Yes, it's not far. And that's the thing is you don't have to have the expense of staying over. You can just come for the day yeah. and enjoy and still be home, you know, in the that's evening. Right. So. Uh, and the tours, it says free food and dinner, 5 to 7. Will the tours be all day? Uh, the tours are going to start at noon. At noon, okay. And so from noon to 5, uh, every like few minutes there will be a bus leaving. So they can get on one at any time and uh, to see the entire facility and, and experience that. That's great. Um, you know, the campus is, is uh, hard to see, and you won't get to see the whole thing in one day. You're talking a little over 20,000 acres of farmland. 20, and, thousand. you know, <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's spread over three counties, Lewis, Shelby, and Knox. Wow. And it's just, um, it, it's awesome to see how um, we can be a part of the community mm -hmm. and a part of um, helping these local counties and these local yes. communities with with business as That's well right. as with just friendship and and the uh, the relationships that we can build. It's what we call a symbiotic relationship, <laughs> <you> right? <laughs> <laughs> and you of course are an instructor. Tell folks what you instruct. <clears throat> Well, um, I've been doing a lot of uh, teaching and instructing with our uh, life skills yeah. lately um, through uh, 4-H and different combinations there, um, teaching kids beyond the classroom, That's good. but just taking it one step further of, you know, uh, let's do it hands-on, mm. you know, let's not just talk about woodworking or auto mechanics or cooking or those things, but let's, let's go do it. Good. Learning by doing Good. And, and getting to be a part and see, you know, seeing them accomplish something mm. a lot of times is the, a turning point in their life. 
You know, uh, maybe they feel unsuccessful. They feel like I've never done anything that's turned out, you know, or, or maybe they've been told that by mm -hmm. people in their lives, you know, right. that you won't be successful. And so we're giving them opportunities where they, in little ways, a, a day at a time, can be successful. They've baked a cake, they've mm -hmm. done this, they've done that. And uh, little by little, building up that self-esteem, that, that um, you know, putting in a, a good, strong work ethic yes. into our uh, next generation of, of people that yes. are coming along, but, you know, and uh, helping them to feel like they can really be all that God has for them to be. Mm, and you know, the one thing I was just thinking is if they find their niche in this, because some of you watching right now, you might have children, grandchildren, or maybe you have always looked back and said, I wish I had, you know, there's no great, greater regret than what might have been. And so if you have a child or a grandchild and maybe they've been going astray and you're thinking, I don't know what to do with them, you have an opportunity to talk with and visit and think, could my child really, really fit in here? Could they right. really learn? Now, this is not just a place, it's not like a boot camp where you send your you no. know, kids, but how would they get involved and how, if somebody out there is desperate, what sure. would you suggest? Uh, well, calling the phone number that's on the screen yes. is a great way to make contact, and then from there, you, you tell them what you, who you want to talk to or what department that you're interested in, and that phone number they can send you wherever you need to to talk to the right person and get the information. Uh, when someone's interested in coming for, for help or, or struggles in life uh, in any form, um, there is an application process, of course, and then, you know, as, as much as we can with the facilities that we have, we want to reach out and minister to as many people as possible. Mm. So the, uh, the Heartland Christian Academy is a uh, boarding school, yes. and so like you're saying, if you've got children that, you know, you're, you're wanting them to be able to grow up in a godly atmosphere where, um, you know, it's a Christian school, they're learning Bible verses alongside with mm -hmm. everything else that they need to know educationally, um, and, you know, that's a great option, you yes. know, that you can look at. Yes. Um, and then, you know, with adults that might be watching that are that's saying, right. you know, I'm struggling, nothing's working out for me right now. To, to check into one of the recovery options of yes. the women's program or the men's program and how it really can, um, um, if they're willing to come and, and just be humble mm -hmm. and submit themselves and, and let God work in their life. Me. That's right. You know, that's really what it all amounts to. It's not that you have to do anything to you know, change the way you look, or change the way you walk, or change. But God will change the yes. inside, yes. Yes. and then those other things will be evident. I love it. You I know, love it. It's a come the, as you are exactly. campus. <laughs> exactly. I have had men and women, youngsters and adults, sitting right here that have been through Heartland. That just absolutely, you would never know it. Yeah. Just like those of you that know my story, you would never look at me and believe that I was, you know, once into drugs and alcohol, but you've been a successful teacher. Yeah, so that I can teach also. God will bless you to be a blessing to others, and he will take where you've been hurt the most. What the enemy meant for harm in Genesis 50, God will use for good. And I know that in this technological age, Jared, this is the time that we're hearing and seeing kids saying, I want to be a computer guy, I want to do this, I want to do that. And they're playing the games. Right. So what do you do with those kids that are maybe wanting to be where you are? Well, like Daniel was saying, we have to teach them morals and responsibility mm -hmm. before we can give them freedoms because right. technology is a big freedom. Oh my goodness, yes. And it's a big stumbling stone. Sure. Uh, it's like any other tool, when it's used wrong, yes. it can be very devastating. Yes. We've actually had uh, one young lady come into our women's program who was addicted to playing video games. Oh, I just saw a special on that, on Dateline, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And she, she even admitted in her testimony that she would rather play video games than eat food. Oh my goodness. She would lock herself in her room for hours on end. And it's really an addiction that's not getting very much recognition. Right. Needs to be. And it really needs to be. Because and we're not just talking pornography either. No, I mean, no. that's a whole different ball game. I'm talking video games, yeah. football, basketball, video games, first person shooters, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. They get sucked in and that becomes their reality. It does. Um, and they find their identity in their people and their characters in the game instead of finding their identity through Christ or finding their identity 
where your parents are supposed to be showing them their identity, they would rather just send the kid off and, oh, they're just playing video games. It's yeah. harmless. And I can get my stuff done while you're in your room and exactly. even peeking in, it looks like they're just <laughs> playing games, which they are, but explain the kind of the avatar mind and, and how kids take on these roles. In our day, it was Dungeon and Dragons. Now it's video. Right. Well, the, when you become the character, you have an emotional tie to everything that happens to that character throughout the game. That's right. So if you are emotionally tied to your character in the game and that character is called on to kill somebody else or to do something that you wouldn't do in real life, you are, tr you are emotionally doing that. Mm. And so what that does is it gives you a higher probability to do that in real life sometimes yeah. because you've already committed your emotions to that action. We could do a whole other show on this. We yes. really could. But this is just one aspect of Heartland, and no matter right. what the issue, foods, drugs, alcohol, sex, pornography, video games, isolation, um, people have been at the death's door suicidally, and they have come in and they found new life, new purpose. Some stay, some right. go into society. Right. You found a scripture you wanted to read well, to us? Well, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention, um, you know, a lot of times people make comments about, well, you know, that's a powerful church. That's a powerful, you know, I, I just wanted to, to point out for anyone watching, no matter what church you're going to, it's, it's not, um, it's not a, about size at all. Right. The thing that makes a powerful church is um, things that are important to us about as individuals, as Christians, that we're living godly and then that we are loving one another. Yes. yes. That when we get together with other believers that we love one another. That's good. And then that we pray for our leaders, our Christian yes. leaders and the leaders of our nation and That's different right. things. And then the fourth being that we stay constantly diligent in the word. Mm -hmm. You know, now yes. it, this can make any church of any size a powerful place Good. for God to work. Good. You know, it, if, if you're meeting in a congregation that only has four or five people, mm -hmm. you can be a powerful force for God mm -hmm. in the kingdom That's right. if you stay with these principles. Good. You know, and so that's what we're trying to live out at Heartland is to be that powerful um, church that God can use and um, in the midst of that helping all these ones that are coming and just learning for the first time how to get to know Jesus. I was just thinking a voice in the wilderness crying out yes. <laughs> and you are so right and somebody out there watching and maybe you're thinking well this just sounds too perfect too good it's it just doesn't sound like something that I could do. That's the whole thing. You can't do That's it. Right. You can't do it. Yeah. You have to be, not do. We're human beings, not human doings. Right. So, okay, what did we leave out? We want to do one more time. Open house, folks. You're invited to the 4th of July. You may have your own little plans and celebration, but if you really want something different and just fulfilling and heartland open house, you get to come see the whole, they call it a campus. I call it a town. They have everything there, homes and stores and restaurants and it's going to be the facility tours starting at noon. You can take the tours. Um, the free dinner, 5 to 7. We're not talking just, you know, boxed lunches. We're talking pulled pork and side fixings and desserts. And So that's why there's a 5K race, so you can burn it off. <laughs> and if you want to get out there and pull those tractors, we need some strong men. <laughs> we might take a minute to explain what the tractor pull is for those who have never seen it. Well, the tractor pull is going to be put on by a professional company. Yeah. It's a nationally recognized company. So this, you know, the, the, the gentlemen and, and ladies that are in this competition will get national points for it. Um, and so we're talking huge tractors. Yeah. <laughs> pulling the big things that you'd go to an arena or a stadium to watch. Mm. So we're going to have bleachers set up and protection so that nothing bad happens. And That's it'll good. be a lot of fun. So if you like monster trucks, you'll love monster yes. tractors. <laughs> yes. I love it. And the other thing is if they get there nice and early and take the tours, the kids can then play. They have lots of facilities. You can go to the, the pet the petting be, zoo. Yeah, there's animals. A lot of people, you know, if you live in town or different things, you might have a cat or dog, but maybe, you know, getting to pet a goat like yeah. you were mentioning or a, a baby calf mm -hmm. or just different things like that. And one of the new things, too, that's going to be added this year that has never been before at Heartland is we've got some exotic animals now. Oh. And so, you know, being able to pet a camel, how many people have ever done that, I you know, know, around here there in the local you area? Yeah. You know, uh, come and see the zebras, you know. Wonderful. We had at Christmas time this 
this uh, mother zebra gave birth Aww. right there on campus to this little baby. So they're they're gonna you're gonna be able to see those. So Great. lots of exotic animals as well. I love it. No snakes. <laughs> yes, well, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. There you go, folks. You want to see something exotic? You got it. Heartland. There. It's at. Oh, good. We've got the address now. Four uh, six four one seven Shelby. Is that right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. And then it's one fifty in Bethel. I love that. What better than Bethel? And do you do you all have a signature scripture or anything that either one of you stands by or Heartland's motto or? Well, my personal one okay. is uh, it's actually in Job, and people say in Job, really? Job, yeah. Well, it's when God confronts Job, and Job responds to him in chapter forty-two, verse two. Job says, "I know that you can do all things, oh. and your purposes never come back empty." Wow, that's a prayer to God instead of. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which is awesome mm -hmm. too. Yes. But wow, and God can. He can do it when we can't. That is, that's the whole message of Heartland, isn't it? And that's it the is. message of salvation. And when I came to Christ at 23, you know, attempting suicide, mm -hmm. I just said, God, if you're really real. And that's all it took. He showed me. He's real. He's yeah. faithful. Try. Test him. Yes. He is faithful even when we're not. Yes. We'd love to just have a minute of prayer. Would either one of you like to close us in prayer? That'd be great. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for the privilege and opportunity to be here today and to yes. share with so many that are watching on TV. And Lord, I just want to take a minute right now and 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 speak directly to those who are watching that are struggling today, that are hurting today. You know, Jesus is ready to mm. touch you right where you are. Lord, I just pray that you will minister right through this yes. program to those individuals. Help them to know that you have not given up on them, that they have hope, they have a future, yes. and they can find their joy and their peace in you. Yes. And Lord, I just pray for this event coming up. I pray that that it'll be uh, an awesome time of celebration for you as we celebrate not only the birth of our country mm -hmm. with the 4th of July, but then we celebrate our families yes. and uh, the, the value and the importance that you see of a family. And um, that's the way you created us to grow and to function. And so, Lord, we celebrate that as well. Yes. Lord, we just thank you again for the time to be here. I ask mm -hmm. your blessing upon uh, Dr. Peppers as well, yes, and her Jesus. ministry, all wherever you take her. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm, amen. 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 And folks, if you've never, ever asked Christ to be your Lord and Savior, it's as simple as that. Once you admit that you can't do it, you just ask Him and say, Lord, I want you. I believe that Jesus died for me, and I want you to be Lord of my life and start reading the Word, the Word, the Word, devour it, and He'll take the scales off if you've tried before and couldn't. Get a different version if you want. I like the King James, but whatever you like, God will feed you through it. Jared, thank you. Thank you. you aren't the Subway guy, though. No, no. no. And Daniel, thank you. thank you. Good name. How was the uh, lion's den? Oh. <laughs> With Dr. Peppers, I can make fun of yes, names. Yes, and I am Dr. Good. Peppers, shaking the salt. been watching Outreach Connection. If you would like to contact this ministry, you may write Outreach Connection, care of CTN, WTJR, 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois, 62301. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio location, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to noon on Friday.